Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Also, that is very clever, Finalgo. <laughs> what do you call paper Italian plumber? Fettuccine. <laughs> also, we're trying the face tracking again because I think I might have figured out what was causing it to freak out. So we're gonna roll with it and see where it goes. Um, also, also, I'm gonna be swapping over my main monitor to HDMI 1. It's gonna blink. And I need to know if you guys still hear the game. Still hear the game? Okay, good. Okay, so where we left off, we kind of stopped right when we saved Peach because, um, hang on, I gotta figure out how to turn my monitor's volume down because it has its own volume. There we go. And impressively, it's working. <laughs> so how we doing? We doing good? Tracking is a little bit odd, but we'll work on it. Um. Okay, we already read this. people is that you can't skip dialogue. Yep, there it goes. It is now lagging. Hooray! Oh, I really wish I could figure this out. start the thing. Is it? Hold on. How's it now? Activating. How's it now? I know what I could do to fix it, but I'm going to have to swap it back over. Zero, 
six. Come on. Yep. Space tracking is not going to work today. I hate technology, and now we have more problems. Um, I have a, I have an idea, but it's going to be risky. that all right now we're going to go back to main i'm trying to fix fix the delay issue on my end how is it now Good, good. Okay, sorry about that, everyone else. Thank you, Finalgo, for the help. Um, I think what was happening is that my computer just didn't, like, sync it up correctly. And, um, that can happen sometimes when I'm swapping it over to, uh, Source instead of the, uh, Display. We can officially start. If it starts delaying again, I'll need to know because I can't tell. Hmm, it's not opening. Oh, is this text doing again? It doesn't work. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did, he, did it reach him alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at, at a ball, correct? Were you eavesdropping? I'm sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it's odd. When you said that you had an impulse when you said that I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How how my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no more reason behind such feeling tech. Wanting to do something together is part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. Well, what am I supposed to do? You say you want me to dance. It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright, I guess. 
I must say, though, it's going to be weird dancing with myself. Wait for the buttons icon live. Uh, yeah, okay. Gonna get mixed up. The uh, X and Y were like swapped because I was playing with a controller a minute ago, an Xbox controller. I was playing more multiverses. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Then thank you for my dancing. Please make use of my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. <laughs> no, you're mistaken. I'm the world's best and only perfect computer. <laughs> she walked away with us. She was like... She was smiling, and then when she turned around, she had nothing. She was just like, eh, okay, whatever. Good night, Princess Beach. Bowser's turn. Pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Wait, hey, 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 my lord, you are so super. You fools! <laughs> ah, yes, the platforming segments. Just about jumped in the hole. <laughs> and, the, and they love calling everyone fools in this game. That's why I made it a meme of sorts. That's why I say fools every time they say fool. <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome to Pedalbar again. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, what a wuss. Yes, hi, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What, what I do need, though, is a prince. Is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Ha. Ah. Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy. <laughs> the backward sprite. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser the Mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. It might have a maiden as well, rather complicated. <laughs> Rah, I see. How refined. How elegant. Awesome. I can go for the strong silent type. There are too many backseat bosses talking my ears off as is. No! My, my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster. <laughs> He's chattering. The poster. 
Oh my goodness me, didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. This is the same music as before from Pedalberg, but like it's now themed after the Boggly Woods. That's neat. Yeah, for real. That is a that is a fine question. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so come by on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from, from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the Crystal Stars. Oh, I'm sure we'll be back again at some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. See you, Mr. Mario. Yeah, so that, that does kind of beg the question. What's the difference between a poster that's made of paper and a paper character when there's just a fine line between... Oh, hey, you hear that? Someone's mailing you. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal star stars. I'm trying to know what I can about them. I'll meet, uh, meet a bit. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I missed you. Lately, I've... I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree da days there again soon. Oh, isn't that sweet, Mario? What am I... What am I sitting at? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. I think I'm good on stuff. I'll gladly take FP over F HP. What, what am I doing? I, like, I was thinking there might have been extra secrets. That's why I was, like, going back this way. But, nah, let's just go. Yeah, that's a that's a classic one. I was actually making he screams for he does not know about a different thing. I'm not sure if I'm even going the right direction. Um, I thought there wasn't a pipe when I started saying that. Um. My, my brain is half dead. What, whoa, what is this? Oh well. Bye, Gambilla. So me, myself, I am hearing an echo because I'm hearing it off the speakers and I'm also hearing it off my um, monitor speakers. So there is a slight delay, and I don't mind it. Wait, we're right next to the door. Hey, Flurry. Blow this thing. What's this? Happy Heart P Badge. Has a chance of slowly restoring your partner's HP each turn during battles. Okay. <laughs> that kind of screaming that I can imagine Mario doing, he's just like, oh. 
<laughs> oh, neat. They all come out now. <laughs> Here we go again, Mario. Let's see that crystal star. The impulse to say shard instead of... <laughs> Too real. I can't remember which one's next. I hope it's Glitzville. Bro, I want to go to Glitzville. It's Glitzville! Let's go! I couldn't remember which one, uh, which one came next. I loved the song from Glitzville. <laughs> you know. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year door old, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. Who are you talking to? Oh. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have most. <laughs> I just about said murder. <laughs> I said mur, and then I was like, nah. -uh. We have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. We have to murder the power of the crystal stars. But the question is, why did they steal the legendary treasure away to begin with? I mean, were they just trying to keep it from being stolen, or what? No, that's not. What? That's not what? I don't know! Jeez, Professor. I'm sorry, so sorry. You know, I need to try to start voice acting these dudes. Um... I would think, I would think, frankly, would almost sound like the Half-Life character. I, <clears throat> I can't, no, I can't. My throat's too fucked. I'm, I messed up today. Um, I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, Gordon, no one's even sure what the, caused the, the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming that it will make an well, you know the thing. No, I, no, I don't. But whatever. How about this next crystal star then? It's like it's floating on the magical map. Mm, yes, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the to the flooding town of Glitzville. There's a stunning area arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people of the world rage on, rage on these bouts. It's like floating. Well, how are we supposed to get there then? A special blimp. <laughs> a special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through a certain channels. What? What channels? Stop being mysterious. How are we? How do we get seats on the ship? I, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is that all the tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. I don't know if I'm doing a good enough researcher voice. Uh, Half-Life researcher voice. Head west from Rhone Court's main square, and you'll reach the side of t t the side controlled by Don Pianta. He said that. Never mind. He's the Pianta Syndicate head, and I heard he makes pretty good regular jaunts over to Glitzville. So, no problem. We'll just go meet this Don Pianta guy, and we'll be on our way. It may sound easy, but he's a Syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a, reclu he is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Aight, bye. Hello, Gordon. 
That's way better of a voice. Why was I holding back? Mario Coops, how you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. This is from Coopley? Who's Coopley? I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you like Pedal you'll like Pedalberg more than you miss it once you get back from your adventure, Coops. So why are you headed next? I want to see you. I want to see. I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. You'll grow, but don't grow too much, else you might be too tall to fit through the front door. <laughs> okay, it's his dad. My boy. Uh oh. Hello, Luigi. Well, hey, big brother. Fancy, fancy meeting you here. What a quinky dink. Hey, what am I up to? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Lawful Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. Well, I went to Hermel Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventure. It's pretty harrowing, bro. You want to hear about what happened? It's a long story. We'll come back to this. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me. He did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I ended up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think it feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin is crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm going to make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. Okay. Yeah, we... Okay, I just thought you would have something to say. Please, 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 please. Yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bluey, is that you? Hello, Mario. Still working hard? Professor Frankly here, and Eve, Eve form again. There's something I forgot to tell you. I highly recommend that you look into obtaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you have that badge equipped, you can take care of weak foes with a first strike instead of fully battling it out. The badge shop in Rogueport has it available for purchase. You can get, that, get it there. By exiting the second... Yeah, we know. Well, thank you. No. Oh, that's not a... That's a bad image. First attack. Enables you to defeat weak foes with a first strike on the field. How's the damage Mario takes when he has 5 HP or less? Bruh. Simplifier and a close call. FP drain. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but regain FP. That's nice. Power jump. We need this. Piercing blow. Deliver damage that ignores enemies' defense. Power rush increases attack power by two when Mario has like five HP or less. Yeah, boy. Super appeal. Get more star power when Mario appeals. Dang it! I need more money. Hello, not Miss Mouse. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. That's badge manager at Lovely House of Badges. For manager, she sure has gone from the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? This shop's small, but it totally, it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate. This is Rogueport's main... Okay, never mind. I mean... Zero BP? What do we really need more? Because we're not going to get XP if we knock out an opponent without battling. Oh my god, shut up! I didn't mean to do that. How much is the power stomp? Oh, just one? Ugh. 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 I don't wanna... Ugh.
That'll work. At least until I get more BP, which is what I'm definitely picking up next. All right. Oh, hey, what are you doing out here? Hi. This is my brother's shop. Someday I'd like to have my own shop. That'd be nice. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I almost fell down that grate. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to all too well. And I don't want to go in there. Okay. <laughs> Boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. Thing to sell. Stop that! Oh my lord, I keep pressing X to do things. Yes, yeah, so I would like to speak to your manager. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Preacher's Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? Um... You can turn the piano to you want for prizes. Some of the prizes can't be found anywhere else. Huh. Refund. Refund some coins if you lose an item in battle. That's neat. Anything else? Eh. I am the Pianta Changer. Changing machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. How many will you exchange? Uh. Nothing. Thank you very much. Come again. I gotta figure out how to get to. To the guy. Well, let me actually see if the. If I won. Oh, not a single number. Free mushroom. Uh, so you know what's bad? My date for some reason is set in June. So someday I'm gonna make that guy very upset. Dirty cheater. Where the flip do I go? There must be a way to meet Don Pianta. You wanna try getting information on the west side? Cool. Going to the theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been this fun late as fun lately since my favorite actress left the stage for good. It's torture for fans like me. I wonder if I showed her flurry what would happen. Yes, technically it is June. But um it's June 9th on my system. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Madame Flurry! I'm such a huge fan, I can't believe I saw you here. Interesting. She actually had a unique reaction. Don Pianta? Are you kidding? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet him, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really want to see him, ask Bravo Boss on the east side about him. Yeah, I bet Ishnel would know how to get in touch with Don Pianta. Say east side? Okay. There's gotta be a good way to making money in this besides the troubles. You're Arthur, aren't you? So I've been thinking, and I think I want to meet the Robo Robo boss just once. The thing is, I have no idea where Thieves Hot the Thieves Hideout is, is located. None. Rumor has it there's a secret passageway around here, but where could someone fit? Just a thought. By the way, we are doing something for um my birthday, which is on the 19th. 
Hi. Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there's no whooping. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all wah. You want something, Chump? This is the Fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business do you bring the Chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. What's that? You want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good, jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up as poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? Wait, what? Mario, you didn't know that. And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet with that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budging on the price. Not a single coin inside the info, or inside info is pricey. Them's the brakes. I ain't got it. What? Oh, fine, I get it. Don't want to pay, huh? Fine, no pay, no way, I say. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. Jeez, oh, okay. fuck you, man. <laughs> I don't have the dough. What do you want me to do? Sniffy, sniffy birthday cake. Yep. I'm going to try to get a event planner thing going for that. Um, similar to how I've seen other people do it. Dang it. How am I supposed to get money? Bonk. I could solve a trouble, I guess. Wait, I already have a trouble going on. Sound gallery? Oh, neat. Mouse a million, okay. You're gonna make contact in front of the shop in Roadwork Square. I know exactly where he is. Cancel that, cancel. <laughs> Abort the abort! Abort the abort! Retreat the retreat! Hey, fella. Sniff, sniff. Sniff! You accepted my trouble. I smell it. Thank you. Very topical, Mr. Mouse. I found a good lead on the way to make money, but I... To make money, but I sort of forgot how about for, forgot about it. So I want to use shock treatment to try to remember it. Yes, indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with that hammer until I remember. But be careful, you hit me after I remember it. I'll forget it again. Okay, let's do this. Yo, use B. Just can't remember. I just can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. Bruh. Nope, it's just not coming to me. No indeedy. How are you that resilient? <laughs> but we can definitely try again because I'm sure I'll remember eventually. <laughs> so come back and hit me anytime, okay? Wait, do I need to upgrade for that? Try again. Sniff, sniff, sniff! <laughs> so you're here to wipe me again, huh? Thanks. Just keep hitting me in the head until I remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remembered. <laughs> That's it. I remember now. I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop of Roqueport and sell it for a two coin profit in Pellberg. Hehehe. <laughs> I'll let that tip be your reward. Don't spend all those profits. Stinky guy. Wait. Smell that? Something smells a little like perfume. Yes, indeed you do. You got someone in your party who wears a lot of perfume, or is that you? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Flurry? Okay, we're wasting time. Um, money. Money, money, money. And I did not get money. Hold on, let me just sell shit. Ooh. I have a scary <laughs> thing.
<laughs> exactly 64 coins. Also, keep in mind, that was... That was a mushroom at some point. I turned a mushroom into mushroom stir fry and it sold back for five. Be kidding me. Am I hearing you right? I could have sworn you said you really don't you really want me to tell you how to meet Don Pianta, the scum of the earth. Okay. Fine, I'll pay. You'll pay really? Yeah, you heard me. Yes, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman, 64 coins on the nose. Okay then, clean those ears out and listen here. At the store next to the Pianta Parlor in the west part of town, buy a dried mushroom, then a Dizzy Dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried mushroom, Dizzy Dial. You got that? Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is. Answer, yellow. I mean... Ironically enough, it is. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh-so-comfy office. You got all that? Yep. But now I gotta get money again. Dried mushroom dizzy doll. Dried mushroom dizzy doll. Dried mushroom dizzy doll. No, Mario! I tried to jump out of the pipe. <laughs> Probably not a whole lot of money. One coin. Yay. <laughs> oh, how am I supposed to make money in this? Not looking good. I gotta come up with enough to buy those two items. I went and then I went down the wrong pipe. Back to Boggly Woods, not a bad idea. Please don't put me in behind the tree or something. Dang it. The specific reason why I didn't want to come here. enemies until I get into this room well never mind I thought this is the room with the, the cliff we're good oh perfect Bonk.
Get wrecked. I have better timing now. Money, 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 please. Six. Apologies for the unexpected grind, but money. didn't respawn. What? What the heck? Maybe I have enough. Because a dried, a dried um, mushroom is like one coin. Or something like that. So is um audio still fine, Finalgo? Okay, thank you. Just enough. Dried mushroom. Dizzy dial. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister, what color is your mustache? Yellow. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Uh -huh. Okay, mister, what is your favorite color? Uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. You can go through this door. Go on with your bad self. <laughs> thingy. I want the thingy. Give me the thingy. Worry. Get the thingy. What would you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or it's gonna hurt. 
Excuse me, you want you wanna you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now to me that's funny. You stand up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum off the rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this guy's gumption. This kid's gumption. He just came to talk. No, that ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you have a reason for wanting to take it for the blimp. Out with it. But that, you want to help some broad who got herself kidnapped. And to rescue this dame, you have to collect in the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things that legend about that ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this... This knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girls he's gone gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a little, little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? I'm not entirely sure if I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's na it's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped without my <laughs> eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long that they lived that they did. They ought to still be in town somewhere. So you gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you got to do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with that with what is known as an extreme prejudice. Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to find for leave it us to find Francesca. Quiet you! It's cause you lugs can't find it that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. Hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No boss. What do you say goes, boss? I don't know what I was thinking, boss. We'll have it again, boss. You're the boss, boss. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we're out of full understanding for one another. So settled in, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Didn't come see me. Or Jessica and Frankie look like this. <laughs> Just a week later here. If you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. I had a good time with those guys. <laughs> you come to me, come to me on the day of my daughter's elopement. <laughs> Shit, where are they gonna be? Let's look for Frankie and Francesca. They're, if they're going far, maybe they'll wait for a ship at the port. Oh. Hey, you two. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something or you just like sliding in, side, sidling into, up to people? Sidling? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do? If Daddy finds us now, oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. <laughs> Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do if we do that? <laughs> Francesca, baby doll, if we could just talk talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. <laughs> Let's go, Frankie. Let's... <laughs> more than anybody in the whole world. The Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put it on the out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish this flames, flames for, of passion. No one. 
Don't you see, mister? I beg you pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Of course. Sniff. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. I'll never forget you for the rest of my life. Uh, well, I hope I made the right decision. Once, a great pirate named Cortez wreaked havoc on these seas, you know. People in town still tell stories about that guy. He's like a legend. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. Should I... I... Did I make... I don't think there's a wrong decision that exists in this game, is there? Thanks, guy. So, this guy is like doing a fundraiser. I found out through Vinny Fine Sauce, uh, they're playing the game. You can donate money to him, but he's like a hundred coins at each donation, and I'm like, brother, I'm already broke. I can't help you. Oh, sweet Dr. Pepper. How I missed you. For context, I've been out of Dr. Pepper for a little while at home. Um... But I definitely have... I do drink a lot of it, like when I'm at work. Uh, bad news, boss. <laughs> oh, look who's coming back. The proverbial mustache. You br you're gonna brighten my mood? So give what you got. What you know about the... You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that the true fact? Broke Port Har Harbor, eh? <laughs> well done. I appreciate this Avery favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. <laughs> hey, hey, you two Nimrods. The kids are out in the harbor. Now go get them. <laughs> Daddy, wait! <laughs> Francesca! <laughs> I mean, Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I I'm sorry, truly I am. <laughs> Frankie, so back you come, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. <laughs> nice angle. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who had said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. <laughs> Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it for all, deserve it for, all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, Boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. It's... <laughs> Daddy. Boss. Yarg. Enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter. You used your, your last favor long ago. And, I, and you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianda. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Daddy. Boss. I don't ever want to see you mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad, no, I mean, wait, boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you for your blessing. <laughs> Boss, make your da daughter a happy woman, I promise you. She'll want for nothing. <laughs> Enough already. Just go! Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats. Congrats, both of you. <laughs> Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out a bit sappy, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. You still here? <laughs> well, you found my daughter and I and her got and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said.
<laughs> Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I know you were in the, the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. Now go on, get your ugly mug out of my office. I've got some intense emotions to comp compartment compartmentalize. Okay. Compartmentalize. Whatever. My, my, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Blitzville. <clears throat> I'm broke. <laughs> There's no way. Although, I think Glitzville gives you a lot of money, so we're in the right spot. This flight goes to Glitzville. You'll need a ticket to travel with us. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Then please watch your step as you step aboard. Oh. There it is. <clears throat> I seen a shirt today that I almost commented on that made me laugh. Um, this guy had a shirt that said, "No, I don't need anger management. Uh, I don't need anger management courses. I need people to stop. I just need people to stop pissing me off." Of glitz and glory. This is where we get Yoshi! If I had a bigger audience here, we could totally vote a poll on a name, but... Hi, Galnery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, a, that's a fair point. Paper joke here and there. We were talking about how a poster isn't considered a person earlier. <laughs> ah, sweet princess poster. It's her, Princess Poster. My, my, my! Glitzville! I've heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly-burly gets me a touch peaked. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star, hmm? This ain't the normal song, is it? Oh. It is. It's just very theme like theme parky now. That's the stuff. <laughs> hot dogs, get your hot dogs. Very good day to you, my very good man. You have no doubt noticed Glitzfield's many aromas. Well, the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins a coin apiece. Can I tempt you? I don't have money. <laughs> I do not have money. 
Local time is now snack time. What the what? Fresh juice. Whoa, that's a big thing. Oh, I just took a guess. Yeah, the music is quite the dramatic change. Power plus partner. Nice. I have no idea where we're going, but we're going. Well, um, Glitzville itself looks like a pretty Japanese-centered, like, design. <laughs> Insert art of fighting joke here, I guess. Hi. Hey there, and welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So grab your frosty juice and take a load off and enjoy. Hi. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes. Mario. That's definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Okay, bye. I thought she was important. <laughs> um. Go ahead and save real quick. Considering how lengthy some of these quests to get the other stars might be, there could be a chance I may have to, like, postpone until the next stream, but I'm not saying I'm ending right away or anything right now. I'm just saying. With as long as it took me last time to get through Bogley Woods, I don't know where it's gonna, how long it's going to take to get the next ones. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't, I don't do stories on nobodies. Sorry, move it or, lo move it or lose it. I forget how you get started here. <clears throat> what a glorious venue! Oh mercy, Mario! Look there, those two brutes are gone. I'm having a, are about to have at each other. Why do I still have you out? That's right! Ugh. I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! Oof! Stay down, pincushion. You don't even want some of the- You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. I'll tell you what. Do about a million push-ups, then come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Hooey, champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick out stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby, Rock Hog is the champ. <laughs> Oh yeah! I can't. Oh my word, Mario! On that uncouth bird, uncouth bird's belt, is that a crystal star? Appropriately yellow too. Yes, I do believe it is. That wonderful sparkle is yet another crystal star. But such a tawdry, tawdry place to find it. Why would it be here of all places? Because it ironically owns one of the strongest, like one of the, like, buffs. Like, it gives you attack boosts and stuff. Oh, whatever shall we do? I don't fancy the idea of stealing that fellow's belt. What shall we do, Mario? Battle our way to the top. 
Oh, you daring man. Darling man, I am so happy to hear you say that. I'd expect nothing less. You're ten times the man of anyone here. You'll be champion in no time. Let's move on then, shall we? Our next step is to become official fighters, I imagine. Dwayne Rock, the Rock Hawk. <laughs> oh, my house heart is positively thumping. Let's find whoever is in charge this minute. Flurry, I like you. But I want to see what Coops has to say about this whole thing. Miss Mouse. Hey, sweetie. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Is that it? Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champ Rock Hawk. Toodaloo! <laughs> What's that, bub? You wanna become a fighter? <laughs> well, if you say you're, ser if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. <laughs> Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway, you can't miss it. Head on through. This is the champion's room. Only the champion may enter. Sorry, regulations. There's a hot dog up here. <laughs> eh. What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, all right, go on in. Mr. Grubb is just inside. <laughs> Who in the tarnation are you, son, and who let you in? This is Grubba's office. <laughs> yep, that's me, Grubba, and you just one rude dude. Coming in here without knocking. What now, an athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Hooey! That that dude changed a thing or two, son. I, I always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and raring to go. And a raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skitty for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight. Son, you want to live the glorious glamour? You want to ha live the glamorous life of the champ, don't you? Darn skippy. All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't I get didn't give a pokey's pokey's patoot for a fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back on those small dreamers and laugh. You read me here, son. <laughs> that's the spirit, chief, here. Let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on now. I do like the addition of all the back sprites that they didn't used to have. The carpet actually folds now. Now how you like this, pard? Pard? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become a champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's the top of the big... That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and life wealth and uncover your weights. There's a Game Boy Advance on the wall. Now, uh, here we have the Major League, Major League Rock locker room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's a, it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. <laughs> now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't no... 
but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't no easy thing. But that, but what that, but that's, but that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, pard. You got the, you got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be a champ. I can feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, uh, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing, just takes a second or two of your time. Just, just jot your name here, okay? Best thing you ever do, son. Now, you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part, it likes a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo wee! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzalez. Hoo! Ain't that a beaut? Think if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Great. Yep. Everyone will soup out before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Great Gonzalez. Well, now what we got? Now that we got the business side out of the way, Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir, you wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league rock locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Now, I want a custom Yoshi color, but I don't actually know what goes into it. As you know, you are now con you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Wow, this place is pretty rough. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. Isn't that just the story of any job? When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer here. Computer terminal. Mr. Grubba will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen, screen and log on with A. Then pick, pick ranked match. <laughs> Little bling. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. What is your command? Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to be your first? Get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules, just ask Miss Lovely Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can get your rank up to the 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Our match is coming up. Are you ready to throw down, Mario? <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to ask you to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Oh, I won't. Oh, I should have had... I should have had her out. Um, Goombella. Squaring off next, folks, are the meteorite hardheads. 
the Goomba Bros, and a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all hit, all hit up for the fight. Let's check in. How do Goom Goomba Bros? How are you feeling about today? You ready for this fight? Ha, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Fool! Who's this Gonzalez, ro Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Wait, just waiting to make us mad. May may bleh. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Hot diggity dog fight, fans. There's the great Godzilla now, striding on up. I tell you, this book has got some guts throwing up like he... Uh, up late like he owns the place. Whoo! Okay, now, Gonzales, listen up. Let me just explain the rules in the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk! Get fucked. <laughs> hey, that's no fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. I'll quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Actually, you think you got this, Coops? <laughs> the great fool Urgh. the great Gonzalez wins tell me son what was the first tape what was the first what was this first taste of victory like and eh, it was okay I guess Listen to this guy. He's like a poet of the arena. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. The kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. Dang it. Felt like I made my arm, my arm bleed by accident. I get these old bumps that make me itch randomly. And when I scratch them, sometimes they bleed. It sucks. Not too shabby for a first fight, Gonzalez. You got some promise. Anyways, I'll be heading out now. Go and get your fight money from Jolene. Here's your first fight money of five coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Your rank went up because you met these conditions. The next fight will not be set up until you select rank match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight? I'm King K, just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy's here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you advice, Bomb. As Miss Jolene was saying, you'll, you'd will you better, Bomb, obey Mr. Grubba's condition. If you can't clear the conditions and you win, you'll, your rank won't go up, even if you win the match, Bomb. Yeah, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful, Bomb, Bomb. <laughs> Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lead, lean machine over here is Brandy Andy, or Bandy Andy. Nice to meet you. I'm not here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh, yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your F HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Oh. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Clefter. Clefter. Brack. Clefgor no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Cleft Man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you'll get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew. You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are gonna have to square off eventually, so good luck, man. Oh, 
Oh. Darn it. I need to get my FP back up. This is the first time I've made Mario sleep. Well, boy howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, huh? Okay then, your next opponent will be the KP Koopas. Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Real men don't need no trinkets to help them hand out a proper whooping, you hear? Now get in there and knock some heads the old-fashioned way, will ya? Hey, looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to both of us. Oops! You good, dude? <laughs> it just got, it just got throttled. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. For our next battle, we got the great merciless executor. We got the merciless executor, the uh, great Gonzalez, and. The Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were going to square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle. I'm not doing that. Do it. Don't use items. Oh, the look at the options. <laughs> that was a strong attack. Go. I didn't just super guard that entire fight. That's what. That's what having no delay will do, I guess. Wait, one? Cool. Here's your fight money of six coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Mm hmm. Since this is going to get kind of repetitive pretty quick, um,. I might skip some of the dialogue that is pertaining to, uh, if I've already said it before. Hey, way to hand out the beat, do beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though, you know what I'm saying? At least he's a good sport about it. Well, boy, howdy, got Yeah, yeah. Okay, then, your next opponent will be... Pokey Triplets. Oh boy. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them flower points. Oh, God. Yeah, you heard me. Let me see how you do with none of them fancy pants moves. Now get, to, get in there and show me something, son. Fuck. <laughs> I have nothing to really attack them all at one time. How the. No. Wow!
I'll try not. Yeah, we've already been there. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. No FP. All oh, those jerks. They have a rock. Stop that. <laughs> Get smited upon, idiot. Oh, I missed it. I missed it again. Wow, it's like really tiny. I would love to have Spike Guard. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? You just finished beating down some poor fools. At fools or what? You're looking, you're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you that room is absolutely off limits? If you want to remain in our fight roster, you must follow the rules. I don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll, we'll ban you from the Glitz Pit, understood? Again, dude? Man, you are just a magnet for trouble. Hehehe, <laughs> sorry, King K. Sorry, King K, didn't mean to bring the rules queen in here. Oh, don't sweat it, B-Money. B Jolene can't handle, can't, can take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing a girl, that girl anyway, man? Oh, you know. No particular reason. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. You know that cute little toad who's working a part-time gig in the lobby? I think the lady's got a little crush on me. Every time I walk past her, she's swooning. <laughs> Well, boy, howdy. The dead bones. Oh, boy. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid swapping partners out. Go with who... Go with who brung you. Go fight... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> um... I guess Coops is the best option. They'll take fighters, dead or alive. <clears throat> um, okay, we can do this. We're gonna take the skin off your bones! <clears throat> Should be fun to do this. Yep. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, this chapter is a little bit repetitive. <clears throat> man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Man. You're the real deal, the realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. If anyone gives you lip, you're just telling King K said to back it up. Bazow! Ah, he hurts! Keep quiet. My foot! Oh, you're fine, just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Oosh! Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, will you? Mommy! <laughs> what the heck? Well, it sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey, man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know. This stuff happens. Well, uh, the green guy's missing, so hope he's okay. <clears throat> Spike Storm. Uh-oh. In this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. Okay. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. We're gonna spike bomb you into submissions, punks. Submission. <laughs> I still fucked it up. Oh shit, there's more! That's a lucky two, it's a member of the Koopa clan that, ri that rides on clouds. Max HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding up a spiny egg, you'll take damage, so don't do it! Spiny eggs slowly hatch into spinies, so beat the lucky two before fighting the spines. Oh, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep getting all those spiny eggs? I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit the star. This is not looking too good. Got him. What did you expect, huh? We rock. Slowly getting some money. My poor Mario is just broke. Hey man, check this. I heard a hot dog, the hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item that uses a mystic egg. Did you know? Their hot dogs can restore your HP and FP during a match. 
That's some ser serious nutrition. I'm not sponsored yet. I'm just excited about some prob probably amazing hot dogs. You ought to snack on out on one. That's an implication that I should probably go check and see if the Yoshi egg is there. I seriously go the I went the wrong way. Huh. Yeah, I was rewarded for checking it out, okay. I need to see what it takes to get a specific Yoshi color. Oh, English mouse. Well well, Mr. Mustache. So you're a fighter now, hmm? Well I suppose I'll cheer you hear you from the shadows, my sweet. Yes, you can still do it. You can still smash people. Arr, 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 arr. Everyone's a piece of the, everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves the rock. No, stop that at once. This behavior is unacceptable in a food, in a food stuff. I insist you desist. No, please, come back to me. Someone help. My rare imported egg is, 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 has escaped. Please catch it. Absolutely unacceptable in a polite society. <laughs> it insists you come down at once, egg. I was supposed to reach you up there. Fly like a common sparrow. Mario? You don't want to be eating little eggy weggy? It's so adorable. What should we do, Mario? Should we help? Well, if you're gonna say that, Mario, then I guess we should help. Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. eaten. It's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well, fine. I suppose there's not much market for cu a market for cuisine that jumps anyway. Awesome, did you hear that little eggy weggy? You're free! See you around! Huh? What is it now, Eggy? You wanna follow us? Is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let it? You hear that little guy? Just make sure not to get in our way, though, okay? Okay. Allow me to look up something real quick. Oh shit, I forgot. It's on the wrong monitor. I'll have to do it on my phone. Thing. Sorry if you heard that. The, um... The stand that I use for my phone... Is like a spring so I have to like pull it and it makes a loud click you know mount loud clack Mario is a door Yoshi colors Oh fuck In short what color your Yoshi kid will be Depends on how long it takes between when you recruit it and when it hatches in real time. The egg hatches following your first guarantee. The hat. The egg hatches following your first guaranteed losing battle. 
against the Iron Adonis twins when you get back to the locker room. The color cycle goes as follows and resets at zero after 20 minutes. Oh my lord. Once you make it through several fights in the Glitz Pig and get to rank 14, one of the minor league locker room NPCs will mention the, the hot dog stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The egg will stick around with you until you reach rank 11 against the Iron Ad Adonis Twins. Before you confirm the rank match for this, exit locker room and save game on one of the hallway save cues. This fight is unwinnable, so your best bet is to run away. When you get back to the locker room, your Yoshi will have hashed and you will see your colorful kid. If you wish to reset the color, you have to you have to have saved at any point between getting the egg and activating the ranked match against the twins. Once you save after the egg is hatched, you cannot change it. You can then try to... Hold on. Okay. So, I tell you what. I have no idea when I got it. Or how long it's been. Oh my lord. So that means you gotta book it. Okay. But here's what here's what we can do. Um I'm gonna save now. Rather. Okay, so what people are suggesting I do, if I want the color that I want, which is blue. I essentially have to wait. Nine or like between nine and eleven minutes to get it or something. Hold on. Back up. But it loops, so that means like if I miss it the first time, I can get it again. But I have no idea when I just picked up the egg. So I guess what I would do is just keep fishing for different colors. Or restart now, pick up the egg, and then save immediately. Or... How am I supposed to gauge? Like, what am I supposed to do? Just wait until I get to the point that I'm supposed to lose, and then... Save there, right before he hatches. Run away, see what color it is, and then if it's not the right color, run away. No, restart, and then try again? That's gonna be very time-consuming. So I have to defeat... Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta be damaged three times, I think is what he said. So I think I should... I think I should just wait until the very last, like... Match 11. Which is a guaranteed loss. To, um... Save there and then just kind of reset it a number of times. But the chances are I might just do it offline. If that's okay. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Let's get this over with. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful.
take damage at least three times. They're stealing coins, though! Also, they kind of hurt. Holy fuck. What do you mean they all live? No, my money! I just got robbed. G Man? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having juice at the fresh juice shop. She likes juice. I like juice. We already have so much in common. Check her out for me, man. I need a rest, bub. Now listen, son, it's about I want you to appeal to the crowd at least when it's got it. I was beginning to wonder if I would just prevent that from happening. gonna lose the likes of you. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. That sounds like... That sounds like... Okay. Never mind. You guys are so far apart from each other. This story section is kind of repetitive, and so is the thing I said a minute ago. 
but you gotta do it. I mean, at least it has these little breaks in between. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my, shoot, my future might get shorter, you know? So after the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool to quit and run, that's for sure, but you know what? That's life, Double G, man. Listen, you stay cool, okay? Promise me you won't forget you once knew King K. Yeah? The punk rocks. Okay, the next... Oh shit, I need to use at least one special move, and I just... I just wait, you know, used up my star power. Uh oh. Um, so the next fight is the auto loss. So I have to do something special to see if the egg is gonna hatch into the Yoshi I want. And I want blue. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. This don't take long. This end in pain for mustache. Mm, yeah. I was hoping that would give me more. Wah! Uh oh. That's a lot of power. <laughs> Oh, they're all x knots Look at that. Oh, I'm in a pickle. I'm in a serious pickle. So, look, I need to do a special move. But Mario is the only one that can do it. He's also the only one with the quake hammer. <laughs> That's a hyper bald cleft. Like clefts on and bald clefts, this is also a rock monster. HP is 3, attack 2, defense 2. This hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. It has low HP, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it before it goes hyper. A little late for that, you're gonna get punched. I'm gonna try to hopper guard. Yes. Damn it. Oh. Fuck. Sorry, Gambella.
Okay, I'm gonna save here. Please. Okay, I was gonna say, please don't tell me I have to walk all the way around. Let's get that blue Yoshi. Oh, this ain't, this ain't done, okay. Avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. All right. <laughs> well, bro, I didn't even get away from the, the terminal before you busted through the door. Big bomb boomers. Here we go, Gonzalez. Bomb. I have advice. Just give up now. Bomb bomb. Don't use your jump. You got it. That's a bomb bomb. It attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah, real smart. Max HP is four, attack is two, defense one. Bomb bomb will get totally mad if you damage it. Damage it. They have like super short fuses. When it gets mad, it'll charge and explode on its next turn. Next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and if it's mad, it'll blow up at the slightest contact. So don't direct attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer, or hit it with something hard like a shell. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do this carefully because I forgot to heal. <laughs> I forgot to heal Gumbella. Okay. Oh no! Whoa! Jeez Louise! <laughs> 99 XP on the dot. Quite lonely without King K bo around. Bomb. No lonely. Him too weak. Now him not here. Sounds normal to Cleftor. You are in bomb denial, Cleftor. I saw you weeping in that locker. Bomb, bomb. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. And press rank match. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions? Sir Swoop? Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Oh my gosh. Hey, we want to get the crowd fired up, so do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. If you got any questions about detailed rules, just ask Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, hard. Okay, your battle is reserved to him. Yeah. She, um... She's doing her thing. Like, repeating herself.
Um, hi guys. Yeah, my name is Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you. Yes, you, Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Okay, security's here to ask you to use the ring. Yeah. Bye, Sir Swoop. All right, now we save. As far as I know. My cats, if it ain't the great Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Yuck, 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 yuck. Who we? You're gonna love this. Your next opponent is rank 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Iron Adonis Twins. That's right, you're Don Tootin'. You're finally gonna make it go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't go and let go of letting us down now. Now listen here, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. The crowd loves a tag team, and they want to get in. But this is a losable battle, like you apparently can't win. <laughs> Today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th ranked Great, great Gonzalez, but only if only if he can defeat the 10th ranked powerhouse, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the Merciless Executioner in here, folks, the Great Gonzalez. Everybody compliments Mario on his mustache. Hooey! The Great Gonzalez, how you feeling? Just perfect, thanks. Whoa, well, Nelly, you heard the fellow folks. He's absolutely mi obviously mi itching to mix up it up some blip. Oh, Lord. They're big. Yuck, yuck. Your challenger is a real confident, boys. Yep. He's talking trash. Iron Adonis twins, he said, more like paper dog face bros, and they stink. And then he says, I bet. <laughs> and then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Um, yeah, and then he said, uh, and so on, yep. What? How does he know mom has an Audi? That jerk. We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink you. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stink wads call other people stink wads. Understand, stink wad? Simmer down there, bro. You, stink what? You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these pods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you do will be completely useless. Think it over in the very short time you have left with your functional brain. We're gonna do it. We, we make the major league if we win. Get psyched, Mario. <laughs> Give up now. Well, Stink Wads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. Now, I'm fairly certain you can't actually win. Like, because the freaking website said it's an auto loss. That's an iron cleft. That guy is scary, period. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown. What's with this book? It says no attack will work against Iron Clefts. It says nothing in the world is, hard as, uh, is as hard as Iron Clefts, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Get used to it. I'm gonna have to do this a lot. 
<laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Now the moment of truth. Hey, check it out, our little eggy friend is gone. Didn't see that coming. Or going, for that matter. Where do you think it went? Yo! He's red. Gonzalez! Check me out, thanks to you I had to take some down. Thanks, man. Hold on. I gotta figure out what I need to do by this point. I like the music. Oh, I needed to wait like nine more, or like three more minutes. Whoops. So we're going to redo that. You can try to manipulate the clock time to get your desired color. So that's the thing. Well, we'll move this time forward. Time with the game paused. Game running while not paused. Time spent in battle. What won't count? Move the time cycle forward. Cutscene time not even 2.3 minutes of unskippable dialogue between preparing and match. Preparing and Okay. So while I sit here and wait for this to go. I need to go to the bathroom. And it can't be cutscene text, so anything that is not cutscene text. Alright, I'll do a quick BRB. And then we'll be we'll be ending off shortly, but I just want to make sure to get the Oshi. One moment. I got the Pikachu launcher because I was below 50% health and I hit him with a Pikachu. I... Oh no, Devin. Oh no. Ah! He's got me. I'm going to space, y'all. <laughs> He got me. The intense battle continues. Combatants face each other. One week. <laughs> the bear hit. That's a nice number you've got there. What bat? It didn't do much damage. What a furious battle! Smooth. Smooth. Look at me, Ma. I'm in, Jer I'm in Gary's mod. I almost said Jerry's mod. <laughs> this is so silly. Hi. Yeah, there's my tail. Um. Well, looks look like you lost some stuff. I am back. Found a wall. I found a yeah. A, a thing. So, I had my what? Huh? That's a hell of a thing to see right when I break open my barrier. 
What? I um. What the? I, I was like, I was closed up so that I wouldn't get in any kind of danger. I opened the, I opened the door, like, <laughs> break down the blocks, and there's a creeper just right there, ready to blow up. <laughs> yeah. I found a cow. So, yeah, I heard you because I had my headset on still. I just. Okay, we're back, sort of. Still haven't sat down yet. Hold on. Just getting this started. They said that the um the cutscene will not advance the time. <laughs> the browser. Alright, so we're just gonna run away again. Truth. When I left the game, it was like two two hours fourteen minutes. Huh? Ah, he's red again. That wasn't long enough. Huh. Okay, well, this is going to take a little bit. So I'll tell you what, guys. Um, I think I'm just going to end off here. Because this is going to take me a bit. I'm just going to sit here and just reset the game over and over until I get the Blue Yoshi. So, um... That's happening. It will happen. I must have Little Blue. So, little fun fact, I guess. Um, any time that I've ever played Super Mario World or had a had a playable Yoshi in any fashion, I've tried to make it blue. Um, dark blue, in specific. Because, um, like, if, if Z ever had a pet Yoshi, who would be called Little Blue? And I'm not saying, like, Little Blue, it's just... Little Blue. That's his name. And, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep resetting until I get, until I get this Yoshi, so, uh, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Um, let me see if I can possibly write into somebody, swap my input again. Tomorrow we are doing something Pokemon related. 
Oh, warbly, warbly. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow we're doing something Pokemon related. And, um, then later that night, probably something else Pokemon related. We'll see. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Vinaldo, for sticking around. Um, I greatly appreciate you keeping the chat alive. And let's see who we can write into, maybe. they're doing. Let's do him. I'm glad he's finding success doing that because, uh, <laughs> I'm sure um, but yeah, stick in, you know, stick around for the raid and stuff like that and, uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow where we'll do Pokemon things. Good night.